This gadget claims to save 30% on gas, 30% by plugging into your cigarette lighter. Amazon's flooded with versions promising identical results, right? I mean, I don't know it yet, like... Coffee, spelled backwards, is e -foc, which is funny, because until I've had my coffee, I don't give e -foc about anything. Same energy, buddy, because until I've studied this thing, I don't give e -foc about anything they say. So FuelSync says it stabilizes electrical voltage to reduce fuel consumption. $20 gets you a plastic pod that glows blue. The listing mentions engine performance and battery life, but get this, never explains the actual mechanism. The Federal Trade Commission has sued multiple fuel saver companies. They tested magnetic devices and voltage stabilizers. Same pattern every time. Bold claims, zero results, lawsuits. Said I played these games before. The EPA evaluated over 100 fuel-saving gadgets under federal law. Only seven, seven showed improvement. Those gains never exceeded 6%, and modern cars already use that technology. Consumer Reports tested cigarette lighter fuel savers specifically, controlled experiments with multiple vehicles. Their conclusion? <laughs> these devices do nothing except light up period. Tech reviewers opened these to see what's inside. They found a capacitor, three resistors, and an LED. The capacitor stores about 120 thousandth the charge of an actual automotive supercapacitor. Enough power for the blue light, not enough to affect your electrical system. Your cigarette lighter port? It only provides 12 volt power and ground. No connection to your engine computer or fuel system. Plugging something in cannot communicate with your ECU, cannot adjust timing, cannot modify fuel delivery. Like, literally impossible. I analyzed Amazon reviews for similar devices. The positive ones? They mention changed routes, recent tune-ups, or different driving habits. The negative reviews tracked mileage scientifically. S several found they used more gas with the device installed. EMOTIONAL damn it! The marketing exploits confirmation bias. Better commute one day? Credit the gadget. Doesn't work immediately? Instructions say it needs variable conditions. The device can't fail in your mind. Multiple red flags in the listing. No company address, no specifications, no testing data. Claims violating basic engineering identical to devices in FTC settlements. Most telling detail? Listen, automotive companies spend billions, billions on fuel efficiency. They test every angle. If a $20 plug could improve mileage by 30%, manufacturers would install them at factories. But let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me tell you something about what they found inside. Three resistors and a blue LED. So what's the verdict? Look, fuel sink sells you a capacitor and decorative lighting. Cannot interact with your engine. Cannot stabilize voltage meaningfully. Cannot save fuel. Zero. None. Only removes $20 from your wallet. Real fuel economy improvement? Costs nothing. Maintain your vehicle. Check tire pressure. Avoid aggressive acceleration. Boring methods that don't glow blue. But guess what? They actually work. If this saved you from an expensive nightlight disguised as engineering, excellent. I investigate gadgets promising physics violations so you keep your money. Seriously. Hey, Mark here. <clears throat> okay, look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might roast next week. That would be awkward. If this review helped you out or saved you from wasting money, here's how you can support what we're doing. First, I've put the link to this product in the description. If you buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. 
win-win. Second, there's another link down there that goes straight to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it and use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or restocking on toilet paper. A tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there.